Hello Tankers! Episode 9 of the Tank Online International Video Blog is alive and kicking, which means we're about to hit our first milestone – 10 episodes. In today's vlog… A useful in-game update, a shooting range in Tanky, and the return of Rusty Barrels. Let's start! The first season of Star Series has ended with an epic battle between Nubist and Scorpions. And I should say it was one hell of a confrontation. As you probably all know, Nubist won, proving once again that they're the strongest clan in the game. The fans' event have also come to an end. We had 23,000 people watching the finals livestream at the same time, which resulted in double battle funds. Pretty impressive. Let's make sure the grand final of the second season gets above 50,000. We are about to finish working on a small but pretty useful update that will allow you to switch between servers right in the game. Time to tell you more about it and about what it will lead us to. You can currently choose a game server by either selecting it on the home page or manually entering its number in the browser address bar. Neither of these two methods is really convenient. This is made clear by the number of requests we received by players for the in-game server selector. The necessity for this increased with the launch of Tenki on the VK social network and partner networks, where players don't have the functionality of switching to a different server. We will add a drop-down menu to the game interface, which will make switching between servers easier and faster. With the present system, the game reloads every time you change a server. With the update, resources that were already loaded will not need to be downloaded again. This will make the switch considerably faster. Moreover, if you do not tick the Remember Me box when entering the game, you will not need to log in again when changing the server. Implementing this functionality is a challenge, because such a feature was not planned in the game's architecture. So a significant rethink of client-server interaction is needed. The update is scheduled for release in September. This feature will not just make the game more convenient. It is a big step to the creation of the game's launcher. Yes, soon you'll be able to download Tanki to your PC and launch it from your desktop without having to open a browser. In fact, the launcher is a special build of standalone Flash Player. It will still download all the game resources from the net, but will be doing it a lot faster. Additionally, we will not be dependent on browser updates that might affect Tanki's performance. Finally, TEO will be a lot closer to you, just a couple of clicks away. The main part of the work on the launcher will begin in the near future and will take several weeks. We'll provide you with more info closer to the release date. We remind you that to take part in the video of the week, you need to send your cool action videos to this email address. Each week's winner gets 40,000 crystals. This time the prize goes to the tanker who made this video. Good news for those of you who have always wanted to face a tanky online developer on the battlefield. Rusty Barrels are back. We are already recruiting our colleagues, as many of them as possible. This time developers will be paired randomly. And now something important. If you have any ideas on how this event should be organized, or you have any advice to offer, speak up in this video blog's forum thread. The link is below this video. We are planning on starting the second installment of Rusty Barrels at the end of August. Don't miss it! Question of the week. Last time we asked you to guess what would happen to two wasps rushing towards each other. In the end, the blue tank survived the hit and delivered the flag. Here are the tankers who answered the question correctly and got the most likes on their comments. Today's question features a shooting range. Let's watch it. That's it for this week. We really hope you liked what you saw. As always, follow us on social media, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video blog and of course catch gold boxes. See you next Friday in vlog number 10.